guys. Like, shalom. All praises and glory go to Mosai, Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Kakadash. Double honors to the Apostle Supreme Millstone, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Kabar, Apostle Lakar, and Apostle Ramla, and the Shalom of the Sisir Achim, that are pushing the spirit of Syria and truth. Before I continue and I say that so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the children of Israel, that the Bible speaks about the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the chosen people of that be father, and um, the people that live in the land of Israel today, they go back to the Karzarians, which go back to the Amalekites, which is the chief head tribe of the nation of Esau Edom. And uh, the people that call themselves white, European, Caucasian, Australian, or American, they all go back to the nation of Esau Edom, which is, uh, and Esau Edom is the only nation upon the planet Earth that will not receive mercy from the Heavenly Father. So, uh, yeah, as you all know, these videos are made to wake up our people, to lead them back to the Heavenly Father, because judgment is being passed, right? Now, what they're talking about is that Iran is going to uh, strike Israel within 48 hours. We don't know. That's, uh, that's uh, uh, the news that they're talking about, you know. But the IC said that, um, uh, that the president of uh, Iran said that um, he, he, Israel will be anni annihilated, you know. And that's in Iranian news. So, because uh, Israel uh, bombed, uh, Israel bombed, uh, uh, Iranian, uh, the Iranian uh, troops or uh, Iranian embassy in Syria, and that's the reason that uh, they want to respond to towards uh, uh, Israel as well. You know. So yeah. Do you have a scripture? Yeah. Read, get your scripture. Uh, what is it? You have a scripture? Yeah. Second Esther. Go. Read. This is Second Esther chapter. Starting at verse 28, behold, an horrible vision, and the appearance thereof from the east, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth. God, so they're gonna move fast, okay? They're gonna move fast. They're gonna have military, uh, 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 military equipment. They're gonna use to fight this war, okay? Can you read it again? Verse 29, Second Esther 15, verse 29, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. God, so once uh, they they come together, these uh, these dragons, as they call them, you know, because they wild in nature, you know, they're gonna a lot of people are gonna fear, all right. Because these Ishmaelites and these Arabs, these Middle Eastern men, they not playing at all. All right, they fight tooth and nail to uh, 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 to defend what they, whatever they believe in, man. You know, they not they have that ancient mindset. Okay, they have that ancient mindset. That's why you have the thi a thing called honor killings. That's why you have a thing called shaming. There's a lot of shaming in their in their uh, culture. Okay. If you uh, if if you if you're a bum, you should be ashamed of yourself. You know, if you uh, if you if you uh, how do you see that? Don't don't uh, uh, do certain things in that culture. As a man, you, you're gonna be ashamed. Ashamed. They're gonna shame you. You know, if you're a woman that um, is uh, how do you say that? Is divorced and married multiple times. That's a shameful thing as well. Now in the West, it's, it's, it's kind of getting less, but it's still a shame for women uh, to, 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 how do you say that? In their community, they get shame. You know, let's say that, man. Continue. Verse 30. Also, also the Carmenians, raging in red, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. Okay, so the Carmenians are also wild, because those are the Iranians, man. Those are, are the Persians. You understand? That's uh, they probably, you know, they they under the banner of Islam, and they fight together with the Ishmaelites. They they probably gonna set, settle their differences and fight, uh, uh, come together under the banner of Islam and fight against uh, 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 the, the the ruling powers that be. You know, <clears throat> because Iran is not is not uh, uh, how do you say that sold out to the to the international bankers. That's why they get demonized like that. North Korea, the same thing. They not 
they not sold out to the international bankers. Cuba, the same thing. They not, um, how do you say that? They're not uh, sold out to the international bankers. And another thing, um, another country as well, Syria, it, it is not was not completely uh, uh, controlled by the international bankers. That, that's why they have war over there. You know, so that they can implement their, their puppet government in, over there, man. So read. Recently. Come. Um, concerning Ishmael, that you know, the, the Arabs being wild. Yeah. Genesis chapter 16. Yeah. Genesis 16, starting at verse 11. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael, yeah. because the Lord had heard thy affliction, and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man. Okay. His hand shall be against every man, man. Three. And every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Okay. So the Ishmaelites uh, always uh, live close to each other. You have all these Arab countries right next to each other, man. They all together. You know, you have Iraq, you have Lebanon, you have Kuwait, you have uh, Saudi Arabia, Oman, Yemen. You know, all these countries. Or Ar Arabic countries, Arabic speaking countries, you know? So read. Going back to 2nd Ezra 15 and 30. Also the Carmenians. Were you finished in Genesis? Yeah. Okay. Can you continue? Um, in Genesis? Okay. Genesis 16, verse 13. Mm -hmm. And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou power seest me. For he said, If I also hear look after him that seed me, Wherefore the well was called Beer Lahai Roy. Mm -hmm. So before that, the, script, the verse before that, can you read that again? Verse 12. And he will be a wild man, his hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in, its pres in the presence of all his brethren. Okay. So he will be in the presence of all his brethren. Okay. So Arabs are very tight knit, they come together a lot, and uh, they very close to their family a lot of times. You know? So much to the fact, but yeah, um, how do you say that? Now you have, uh, you still have uh, Western society that are affecting their culture as well, you know? Now they're seeing that Arab women are for the streets too, you know? So you have Arab guys joining uh, uh, so-called black, uh, how do you say that, um, uh, red pill communities seeing that it's not only your woman, it's, it's our woman too, man. He said, uh, his brother, there was this guy, he said that his brother, he's, uh, they, saw, they call him a so-called high-value man, right? And uh, he says his, his wife won't even make him a cup of coffee, man. That's how bad it is. So, eventually he ended up divorcing her, you know? Hey, yeah, man. So, um, that's, that's, that's where we're at right now. That's why it says in the scriptures, man, no one escapes, man. Feminism is everywhere, and and uh, the, everyone has drank of the wine of his uh, yeah, man. education, man. Yes, man. Read. Yeah. Yeah, the priest. Because you was talking about the, the, their armies earlier. Yeah. This Revelation chapter 19 and verse 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that brought miracles before him. Yeah, so the Vatican is going to go down, right? And the beast is talking about NATO. That's going to be destroyed as well, right? Because, uh, you know, their armies are not, not ready to fight against the Heavenly Father, man. They're not strong enough to fight against the Heavenly Father. Read with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the, the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their, fire, uh, with their flesh. God. So anything that comes against him will be destroyed, will be burnt up, right? Will be vanished, right? And eventually when he comes back, all elements shall melt with fervent heat, as it says in the scriptures as well. Because we need that, man. The, the world needs to be cleansed, you know? You know, uh, you, you might have an old piece of jewelry that's all dusty, it's all black. If you, if you uh, uh, put it in the fire, 
it's going to shine like new again, man. And you're going to be happy. Meanwhile, it, it is the same, it's, it's the same, uh, it's the same piece of jewelry you had, man. You know? You just have to put it in the fire and it gets cleaned up. That's the same thing the Heavenly Father is going to do with this robe, man. So, can you continue? Going back to 2nd Esdras, chapter 15, verse 30. Also, the Carmenians, raging in wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And with great power shall they come, and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Yeah. And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn themselves, yeah. conspiring together in great power to persecute them, yeah. then these shall be troubled and keep silence to their power, and shall flee. Can you break it down? So the dragons will have the upper hand, meaning like the, the Ishmaelites. Okay, they're going to have the upper hand for a certain amount of time um, uh, in this war that they have. And let me see. Um, the Edomites, you know, are going to be afraid for this, you know, because they're going to see that wild nation of the Arabs coming up upon them. You know? Can, because of the, it's talking about the Assyrians, right? Because that, but that's, that's Esau. Esau is the modern day Assyrian, right? Can you continue? Verse um, 33. And from the land of the Assyrians shall the enemy besiege them mm -hmm. and consume some of them, and in their host shall be fear and dread and strife among their kings. Fear and dread and strife among their kings. Read that again. And from the land of the Assyrians yeah. shall the enemy besiege them and consume some of them, yeah. and in their host shall be fear and dread and strife among their kings. Okay. So they're gonna not be completely together because that's what it says in Daniel as well. You know? Read. Can you get Daniel too? Uh, 41. The, ten to, uh, the toes that, you know? 41 or 42. Read. Verse 34. Behold, clouds from the east and from the north unto the south, and they are very horrible to look upon, full of wrath and storm. They shall, they shall smite one upon another, and they shall smite down a great multitude of stars upon the earth, even their own star, and blood shall be from the sword unto the belly, and dung of men unto the of hope. And there shall be great fearfulness and trembling upon earth. Yeah. And they that see the wrath shall be afraid, and trembling shall come upon them. The trembling shall come upon them. Um, clouds, right? It was talking about clouds, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, where are you now? Now um, at verse 30, 30, uh, 38. 38, okay. Clouds was 34. Yeah. Have Ezekiel. Can you get Ezekiel uh, uh, 37? No, 30, 38. <coughs> uh, you can continue. Huh? Let me see. Second Esther chapter 15, verse 38. And then shall there come great storms from the south and from the north, and from other parts from the west, and strong winds shall arise nice, from the east. Nice. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Read that cloud again, and then you, you read what you have. Second Esther 15, verse 34. Mm -hmm. Behold, clouds from the east and from the north unto the south. Yeah. And they are very horrible to, to look upon, you know? full of red and storm. Okay, so what's it talking about? Read. Ezekiel 38 and 9. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to, uh, to cover the land. Thou and all thy bands and many people with thee. Thus so, so, so this is talking about, um, how do you say that? Uh, uh, troops, okay? This is talking about troops. So over here, the clouds is talking about troops because a lot of people are going to uh, fight a battle because they have invested interest in certain countries. You know, they want, uh, they have their investments in uh, certain countries. Like uh, Syria has his, his whole navy, his whole navy base, naval base, is owned by Russia. And they can use it until, I believe, 2030 or something. Because they, that's why they don't allow Syria to be destroyed by America. You understand? So read. 
Yeah, he's done. He's done. Okay, second Esther's 15, going back to verse 38. And then shall there come great storms from the south and from the north. There's another voice from the west. Verse 39. And strong winds shall arise from the east and shall open it. And the cloud which he raised up in red, and the star stirred to cause fear toward the east and west wind, shall be destroyed. The great and mighty clouds shall be lifted up full of red. Okay, that, that's it on that. Yeah. Can you continue? Yeah, Habakkuk. Yeah. This is Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 1. The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. O Lord, how long shall I cry? And thou wilt not hear. Even, even, cry, unto, uh, like, even cry out unto thee of violence, and thou wilt not save. Why, why dost thou show me, show me iniquity? And cast me to behold briefly. So that's what we think about a lot of times, man. Why are we in this uh, condition? Can you give me Micah 2 and 10? Only that. Right? Or can you give me uh, Ezekiel 9 or 4? Okay, For spoiling and violence are before me. Can. So Esau has, uh, you know, as we know, three brought murdered all across the planet Earth. And there's no one that can basically stop him, but he's soon going to be stopped. You know, by the BRICS countries, Russia, India, China, you know, all these uh, countries banding together to fight against uh, Esau. Meanwhile, there's some Edomite nations in, in there themselves, man. You know? Agreed? And there are the that ri rise up strife and contention. Yeah. Therefore, the law is slack and judgment doth never go forth. No, because judgment never go forth. Because, uh, Everyone should be accepted, and uh, there's no, there's no good, and there's no clear bad anymore. You understand? Certain things that are bad are still seen as so-called good, man. You understand? So read. What? Yeah, read, read what you got. It's uh, Psalms 37 and one. Um, <clears throat> Fret not thyself because of evil doers. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Read that again. Psalms 37 and 1. Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Yeah. Neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Exactly. And that whole chapter is good actually. You can continue actually. Verse 3. Yeah. Trust in the Lord Jehovah and do good. Can so, you give me Job, Job 20 and uh, no, Job 18 and 5? Read. Verse 3 Trust in the Lord Jehovah and do good So shalt thou dwell in the land And fairly thou shalt be fed Delight thyself also in the Lord Jehovah okay, So doing good You know in the Lord's eyes Is keeping his commandments to the best of his ability You know uh, To the best of your ability um, And let, let's Let's get that also Okay, Give me Matthew 22 Matthew 22 and you give me Matthew 5. All right, what did you have first? Job 18 and 5. Okay, read that and then go to whatever you have. After that, read that as well because otherwise it's too much reason. You know? Job chapter 18, verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. Come and the spark of his fire shall not shine, man. The light of the wicked, it seems beautiful, but it's wickedness, man. You know? The light is only talking about uh, uh, wisdom on the left-hand side, you know. His wisdom and uh, knowledge and understanding comes from Satan. It doesn't come from the Heavenly Father, man. You know. So read. This is Micah 2 verse 10. Arise ye and depart, yeah. for this is not your rest. This is not our rest, man. You know. Even though you, you, you think that, you know, you want to live a comfortable life, it seems that it's, it's not given to you. You can't, it's not allowed for you to live a comfortable life. Even, and then, then you have to remember that, you know, uh, uh, we're, not, we're in captivity, you understand? Even though we're in the flesh, you want to you wanna, you wanna, uh, live a normal life, but that's, we're not, we're not here to live a normal life. Right? We live to, here to suffer and to, uh, to, to, to suffer and uh, live this sentence that the Heavenly Father gave us. You know, live during, through all those curses and uh, and things like that that the Heavenly Father uh, put upon us, and uh, do the best we, and make, make it to the best of our ability to how how far we can you know you know live a normal life. But, yeah. Because also when you talk about uh, being in the condition where we are right now, yeah. you see all the wickedness.
is coming and uh, bypassing us, and we get angry with that. But the scripture says, uh, be angry but sin not. But also this in uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and starting at 21, the fear of the Lord driveth away sins, and where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Right, read it again. Okay. Uh, 21, uh, one, uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 21, the fear of the Lord Drive, uh, driven away sins. Driven away sins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And where it is present, it turneth away wrath. Yeah. A furious man cannot be justified, for the for, for the saw of his fury shall be his destruction. Okay. Uh, so if you if you don't control your emotions, that will bring you to destruction. It doesn't matter if it's lust. It doesn't matter if it's anger. It doesn't matter if it's sadness. It doesn't matter if it's gluttonous, glut gluttony, you know, all these things are uh, in excess, you understand? And that will bring you in, into destruction, but it says especially furious, you know? Uh, a patient man will bear, bear for a time, and after a joy, so straight up unto yeah, him. Exactly, and uh, a, a patient man, right? So, why does it say a patient man? Because you, even the Italians say, uh, 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 what do the Italians say? Uh, uh, Revenge is best served cold. You shouldn't, you shouldn't immediately take revenge. You should uh, uh, analyze the situation, wait until you're clear-minded, and then you can uh, serve the revenge. You know, in, in a good proportion, the best way. Not, not just uh, react immediately. You know, but that's what the Italians say. So this is, uh, it's talking about patience, man. You know, be patient. You know? Be will hide his words for a time, and the lips of many shall declare his wisdom. The parables of knowledge are in the treasure of wisdom, but godly, godliness is read again, read it again. Um, 25. The parables of knowledge are in the, in the treasure of wisdom. The godliness is an abomination to a sinner. Godliness is an abomination to a sinner, so that's why they don't get attracted to the Spirit. The Heavenly Father has has this Spirit as a repellent for them. Okay. So you have a precept. I have to and then go, yeah. I have a song. And then go back to, to what you were reading. Yeah. This James 1 and 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith were patience, but let patience have a perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Yeah, man. So just like the brother was saying earlier, you get into this truth. We 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 in here to suffer, man. Basically, you know, we did wrong, and now we are gonna have to suffer a bit until the kingdom comes, man. You know, it ain't gonna be uh, 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 all sweet times like these Christians be saying. You know, singing in the churches, acting like everything is perfect, the earth is perfect. Meanwhile, there's a bunch of wickedness going on. And the scripture talk about. Um, a wise man, uh, when, you when you increase knowledge, you increase sorrow. But before that scripture, it was also saying like, uh, when you gain, gain wisdom, you, what was it again? You, you get angry at the wicked? You don't remember? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I forgot that. But basically that, man. I have another scripture also, this First Peter's chapter 2 and verse 19. For this is thankworthy. If a man for consciousness, it's like a for conscious towards Yahweh endured grief, suffering wrongfully, for what glory is it if when ye buffeted for your faults ye shall take it patiently? But if when ye do and suffer for it, ye take it patiently, this is acceptable with the most high. For even hereunto where ye it's like it. for even hereunto where ye call, because Yahweh Shai also suffered for us leaving us an example that we should follow his steps. Who did not know sin, neither was God found in his mouth. Who, when he was refiled, refiled not. Again, when he suffered, he threatened not. Okay. But committed himself to him that judges righteously. So basically, point why I brought, brought out this scripture, just like how, how Shai suffered, you know. We, the, the, the scriptures talk about the servant is not greater than his master. 
you know. Oh, and also another scripture in First Peter is talking about we gotta follow Yahushai's footsteps. You know, Yahushai went through all these things that he had to go through, and we gonna have to go through it as well, man. Obviously, not on a large scale like how Yahushai went through it. You know, obviously not on a, on a on a high scale like Yahushai had to go through it, but we gonna still have to go through some tribulation. You know? Exactly. So can you go petition the songs? Yeah, what, what's, what did you have? I have a scripture what he was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Proverbs 1 and 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. Yeah, I believe it was in Ecclesiastes. Uh, okay, okay. But hey, let, let, leave that for another time. Man. Let's okay. continue in, 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 uh, uh, what you had. Uh, this song, chapter 37 and verse 4. Yeah. Delight thyself also in the Lord Jehovah. And he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord Jehovah. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord Jehovah, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospered in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Go, go, go. So can you get uh, 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 Matthew? Yeah, Matthew 22 and uh, 26. 26. Yeah. This is Matthew. Because this is what Yahweh Shai said, right? This is Matthew 22. Yeah, Matthew 5. And 36. Five from verse 20. Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto him, thou shalt, love thy, thou, thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the, while the Pharisees were gathered together, Yahushua asked them, saying, What think ye of, of the Masayak? Okay, but that, that's it on that, man. So, the scriptures talk about, you know, love the heavenly father with all thy might and all thy soul, right? And love your neighbor with all thy might and all thy soul, right? You know, so you can know all the breakdowns, know all these scriptures, but if you don't apply them to the, yourself and the body, the heavenly father is going to step in, man. You know, so it's not a joke. These things are very serious and you need to take these things more serious than all these breakdowns you know, you know? So can you read that? Matthew 5, chapter 5, verse 20. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause, shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whosoever shall say, Thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Okay. If you do these things, or worse, the Heavenly Father is going to deal with you. You need to watch out, man. It's not a joke. All right? So give me uh, the other scripture you have. Yeah. No, we, we already done with Habakkuk. Habakkuk 1 and 4, therefore the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth, for the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment, let me start at 3, uh, Habakkuk 1 and 3, why dost thou show me iniquity, and cause me to behold grievous, for spoiling and violence are before me, yeah, spoiling and violence are before me, alright, because that's what we see, War here, war over there, all these type of things, man. Three. And there are the and there are that raised up strife and contention. Therefore the law is slack, and judgment doth never go forth. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous. Therefore wrong judgment pro proceeded. Exactly. The wicked compass about the righteous. You know, Esau is on, 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 on the right it's uh, in power now. And he uh, he's not ruling the earth as it's supposed to, man. 
You know, he's not putting uh, um, certain people to death that have to be put to death, murderers, and uh, you know, they they rather put them in jail for the rest of their lives and uh, uh, waste tax money. You know, meanwhile, uh, you're supposed to put evil out of society, man. You know, so read. Yeah. The Psalms, the Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 8. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord Jehovah, they shall inherit the earth. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The meek shall inherit the, the earth, man. So that control of anger, it's very important, you know, how you treat your brothers is very important, you know, knowing the scriptures is very important as well, keep the commandments is very important, but first of all is the, keep, is, is the, the love among the brothers, man. it's very important, man. read. Uh, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covered the faces of the judge thereof, if not, where and who is he? God. He covered the faces of the judges, man, because the Israelites are the judges, and he doesn't uh, judge accordingly. He acts like he's the judge, you know, but that's not the case, you know, so can you continue? God. Habakkuk 1 and 5, Behold, ye among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which ye will not believe, that though it be told you, for lo, I raise, I raise up the Chaldeans, that bitter and hasty nation, which shall march through the head, bread, uh, sorry, and shall march through the. March through the breadth of the land to possess the dwellings, dwellings places that are not theirs. They are trembled and dreadful, their judgment and their dignity shall proceed of themselves. Their horses also are swifter than the leopards. Yeah, because uh, the Chaldeans, man, you know, they're rich, rich, uh, sorcerers, man. That's what they do. All the witchcraft upon the planet Earth, this is the modern day Edomite, actually. His, 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 uh, his, his, he studied all the witchcraft across the planet Earth. What the Babylonians were doing, what the Egyptians were doing, the Hamites, you know, the, the, the Assyrians, the Greeks, the Romans, you know, what they used to do. And he noticed that uh, basically um, that's how he gets Satan, a power from Satan, man. But he went, he went even overboard. So he has all, and, and, and it's given to him to, to do so. You know, the Mosai is not really intervening. Uh, concerning uh, Esau, you know, uh, the top elite, of course, because they have a duty to fulfill. And the Heavenly Father is going to allow them to fulfill that duty, you know, and uh, give them and allow Satan to give them the power, because Satan is their God, man, you know. So, we... so can you continue? I, I had uh, Ezekiel 9 also, right? Yeah, Ezekiel 9. Yeah, and what did you have? Uh, you had it also? Yeah. I also had the, the Daniel that you wanted me to see. Okay, what did you have? What else? And I had the other piece of the... Okay, okay. So you, you, hold the, uh, you read Daniel and you keep uh, 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 Ezekiel, man. Nice. Right. Uh, the feet of iron with, my, uh, with clay. Yeah, yeah. This Daniel chapter 2 at verse 31. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold, a great image. This great image, who brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. Where are you reading now? Daniel 2 and 31. No, no, no. The Read that from 40. Okay. This Daniel chapter 2 and verse 40. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron, iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. Yeah. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. Come, 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 come. Um, read it again. 
Daniel chapter 2 and verse 40. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. Okay, so that's the Roman Empire. Great. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth yeah, all okay. things, and as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. Okay, so uh, that's talking about the Roman Empire. Great. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of part is clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. Kingdom shall be divided, okay? But but there but there shall be in it of the strength of iron, for as much as thou saw the iron mixed with miry clay, yeah. and as the toes of the feet were part of iron yeah. and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and, and partly, partly broken. broken. Okay, so can you read it again? Verse 42. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron. Start at 41. This Daniel chapter 2 and verse 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of part is clay and part of iron. Okay, so read it again. Start at 40. Daniel 2 and 40. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. Roman Empire. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas, and whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of part is clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. Yeah, the kingdom shall be divided, so they won't be completely together, man. Right? They, will, they won't be completely together. They will, will go against each other, man. You know? But there shall be in it of the strength of Russia iron. against China, you know, things like that. Russia against China. Uh, I mean, Russia and China against America, you know, things like that. Read. But there shall be in it of the strength of iron, for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. Mixed with miry clay, you know, it's an inferior material, you know, because they all come in together on the NATO. You know, certain countries ain't that strong, man. You know, like Holland ain't that strong militarily. You know, now back in the days they used to be, but now they they weakest, almost the weakest link, man. You know, England is uh, Fr France is uh, kind of strong. You know, because they have nuclear capability. England also. You know, Germany also, but the Holland, uh, uh, you know, Spain, Italy. They're not up to date, man, with uh, what, what they're supposed to be doing. Read? Can I say something about it? Yeah, because also there was an article in 2022 about Germany that they wanted to increase their uh, army and make it the biggest army of Europe, basically. And right now, they are. Uh, and the article came out in April this year, and they are looking for more personnel to join basically, the army. And also the, what they want to do in Holland right now, they want to uh, force a law uh, that you is uh, a duty plea, uh, 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 draft war, a draft. Yeah, draft war. Do a draft, I mean. Yeah. Sorry, not draft war, but draft. Draft. So that you need to come uh, from the year uh, 17 till 45, I think. Remember that you need to come to the uh, army and basically to come to fight for, for them. So they basically are searching for uh, people to come in because the army is re in Holland is very small. It's like the brother said, it's basically nothing at this moment. All this time they were uh, uh, counting on America and uh, the America uh, would, would uh, solve all their problems anyway because, you know, it was like, uh, you know, we don't have to do anything. You know, uh, America got us. America is... Uh, 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 how do you say that? Spending all that money on on, uh, on mil the, the def defense system and military, so he thought he thought like, hey, no, uh, he's a NATO country, so why would we do it? Which is kind of smart because you keep money in your pocket, <laughs> you know. But now, now uh, uh, it's different because it brings uh, turmoil amongst each other, you know. That's why it says uh, strife and, and 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 you know things like that They're amongst um, among their ranks, man. They go in against each other. What did you want to say? Yeah, I remember also what you said because in the time with the war with uh, Kosovo, yeah. the Dutch also went there because America basically told them you need to uh, come and help us. And then it, where America says uh, uh, the Dutchess need to go, then the Dutchess jump on it and they do everything what America says. And like what the brother said, like then when when the, the government America ain't governed, then like. They, uh, 
they used to, they loosen their, uh, their, uh, their basically the strongness of it, and that shows that uh, Holland is crumbling down. Yeah, because look, that's that's what made them uh, lap dogs to begin with, because they didn't have their own own military equipment in order. So whatever America that that gave America power over them all the time, you know. And, and Europe now, what they're talking about is they would need to get the strength so that they need to uh, deal with any other situation without America. Because, because you never know, man. It's America first and they might even leave NATO. You understand? So uh, that's also a possibility. So, uh, here you can team. It's Daniel chapter 2 and verse 42. Yeah. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, yeah. so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Partly strong and partly broken, yeah. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with miry clay. It's like with clay. And in the days of these king kings, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. No, and that's the kingdom of the Israelites, man. Right? That's what's coming. Right? The kingdom of the Israelites. Righteousness upon the planet Earth. Righteous laws, you know? No stress and, and about you need to pay rent and you need to pay this and you need to pay that and you need to have this and you need to have that. You can't grow your own food and all these type of things. GMO food because, oh, can't eat this food now because it's GMO. So, oh shit, I've been eating this all my life. Now you gotta stop eating that. All of that is gonna be put, put away, man. You understand? We're gonna fish, we're gonna have, have with vegetables, we're gonna have uh, 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 clean meats, clean fish, clean air, clean water, clean everything, man. You understand? So that's what the Heavenly Father is bringing back on the planet Earth, you know? So, can you get me, uh, hey, can you get this scripture out uh, of Esther, the most just laws? Uh, Esther 11, I believe, and 8, or 11 and 16. Because that's, that's a profound scripture. Yeah, you have something? Yeah. Uh, this is Isaiah 11 and 6. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf, and the young lion, and the, the fatling, and the fatling together, and, and a little child shall lead them. So, a little child shall lead them. Read it again. Isaiah 11 and 6. The wolf, the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lay down with the kid, and the calf. The leopard shall lay down with the kid. Read it again. Okay. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb. Read. And the leopard shall lay down with the kid. Shall lay down with the kid. Read. And the calf and the young lion yeah. and the fatling together. Yeah. Together, man. You understand? Complete peace. All right? So even that war amongst the animals is going to uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, stop. Right? That war amongst the animals is going to stop. So why, why did it say... Uh, uh, peace, you know. Why does it say uh, 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 that there, there shall be uh, continual peace? Can you read? Can you read that, man? Um, um, Isaiah 45. And can you get me that? Isaiah 45. Sure. The 17. Oh, but that's not talking about peace, though. Fatling together, and the little child shall lead them. Start it again. Yeah, read it. You can break it down. Break it down. Yeah. So what you're seeing here, and a child shall lead the animals, and basically what you have right now, put the child next to a lion, and the lion will eat them up right away, man. It will snatch them. But in this time, it's going to be peace. The child can just lead the lions and the animals like we go in that way and they direct basically the path and it shows you like it's totally peace man and no harm will be uh, done upon us man in that time and as you so see it's, it, it gives us peace man to, to, see, to read the scriptures that you can imagine
imagine how we can weigh what we're going to have in the in the past, man, in the future, man. Just to follow in Yahweh Bashar Yashai, that's a beautiful thing in itself, man. And the opportunity that we get to find our, our, our true father, man. For the things we've been through, man. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 4 And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares yeah. and their spears into pruning hooks yeah. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore okay. So there's not going to be war anymore man, you know But that's not, that's not only for the people Right? That's what it says. It doesn't say that, but the scripture that we just read also shows you that the animals is going to have peace as well. You see that? So I never um, um, paid attention to that, actually. I just noticed that, you know, that actually when the whole world is at peace, all the nations are at peace, the animals also are going to have peace, man. You see that? So, so even the animals is going to have peace, man. So the animals is going to be happy, man. You know? So, uh, what did you have? I had... Oh, it yet is equal 94. What did you have? I have uh, Revelation 21. Okay, read, read. It's Revelation chapter 21 and verse 4. And Yahweh shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. For the former things are passed away, right? No more pain, because the former things are passed away. That's what's coming, all right? Read. What did you have? You had an Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah. And to the others he said, In mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite, that not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin in my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient man which were before the house. Okay. Okay. So can you give me uh, uh, Ezekiel uh, 37 and 26? Ezekiel 37 and 26. 26, yeah. This is Ezekiel 37 and 26. Moreover, I will make a covenant, a covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will place... Can you start at 25? Okay. This is Ezekiel 37 and 25. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they because, because our forefathers have dwelt over there, right? And it was given unto them. Read. And they shall dwell, and they shall dwell therein, even they. And their children. Even they and their children. Alright? And and their children's children yeah. forever. Yeah. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Exactly. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It you, shall be an You will make a covenant of peace with us, right? With our forefathers, man. So read. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will please I will place them and multitude and multiply slightly. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. Yeah, continue to uh, last verse. Come. My, my tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their power and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel when my sanctuary twenty-eight, and the heathen shall know 
that I, the Lord, do sanctify. 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 Okay. Sanctify Israel when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore. Okay. So that's what's going to happen, man. No more uh, 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 uncleanness upon the planet Earth. No more uh, 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 confusion. You know, only righteousness, only cleanness. Everything is going to work for the Earth, not against the Earth, man. You know, no more pollution, no more plastic, man. You know, all those things is going to stop. You know, no things for fil filthy lucre sake. You know, make people sick so that you can make mo money and profit off of it. That's wickedness, man. And that's what's happening right now, man. You know, that's what the most. High, that's what the most high is gonna stop through his, uh, his, his uh, how do you say that? His prophecies. You know, but destruction has to come first. Destruction and hard times have to come to stop all of that. You know, and when the hard times come, we're gonna live, be, be, be living and going through tribulations as well, man. You know, and we gotta have, we're gonna have to deal with that uncertainty. You know, we never really deal with uncertainty from a day-to-day -day basis, you know, only with certain minor things, you know, but not to the level that the Heavenly Father is going to bring it. And when there's uncertainty, you know, that's where the faith comes in, you know, because if you don't, if, you, if you're uncertain about your safety and things like that, you understand, then, uh, um, um, and the government can't, ha can't help you, then is when you're going to start thinking, about uh, you know your, your, the trust that you have, man. What do you trust in? Do you trust in the government or you trust in the Heavenly Father, man? You know, and the Heavenly Father is gonna gonna uh, uh, sh uh, uh, keep all those people separated, man. You know, the ones that trust in the government and the ones that trust in the Heavenly Father. That's what he's gonna do. You know, and with certain situations, certain situations are gonna come that you're gonna have to to to, to stand firm. In what you believe in, even though there's no food, even though there's no no uh, no water, you know, the heavenly Father is gonna test you, you know. So uh, let's continue. Can I say something? Yeah, about yeah, because also we take an example like what we seen, what we say, uh, been seeing with Venezuela in the time of trouble, right? They didn't have no food, they didn't have no water, they was basically eating their own fingers just to fill up the belly. But this is the, what you need when you have, if, if you don't have your Hawa Basham Yashai, what do you have? You have no guidance, you have no path. Your Hawa Basham Yashai, it says in Psalms uh, 190 and 105, that he is the, the, the lamp of our path. He is guiding our steps, how we're supposed to walk. And if you don't have that, that, that path of light, you walk in the darkness, man. And you will be destro destroying your own body and soul, man. Everything will be des destroyed. But, Without following Yahweh, exactly. Look, now, now it doesn't matter, man. Now you can go to the store. It's all good, you know. You can talk shit, you know. That's all good, man. But just, just wait until that war comes, man. Look at Haiti, man. You think, you think women are talking about feminism and independent? Uh, my, I'm a strong, independent woman over there now, man. They ain't doing that, you know. They're hiding in the house, man. You know, unless their husband, they, uh, unless they have a strong man husband that. You know, is guiding the house and protecting them, you know, they're going to be good. That's why the scriptures say, man, let, let the young woman marry, you know. It doesn't say uh, 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 go for your career and, you know, uh, accomplish, the, 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 be the best you can be. No, man. It says, uh, uh, you know, have, have a husband. That's what the scriptures say, you know, for a woman. That's what the scriptures say. Now, a man can be by himself. Man. So, uh, hey, ah, you got that scripture? Esther 16 and 15. Esther chapter 16, verse 15. How it says. But we find that the Jews who this wicked branch had delivered to other destruction are no evildoers, but live by the most just laws. by just laws, man. And there's a law for almost anything, you know. Even uh, not to cut certain trees down when you go to war. You shouldn't get, uh, 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 how do you say that, a calf 
calf's mother, you can't just kill it. You have to take the, the child because the child can easily be made again. You understand? Those are righteous laws according to the scriptures, man. You know? You know, uh, uh, with men, uh, their responsibility, with women, what is, is expected of them, all those things are written in the scriptures, man. Give me, can you give me uh, uh, Isaiah 34 and 16? And then Romans 15. Can you give me Romans 15? And Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the, Lord, of the Lord and read. No, one of these shall fail. Not one of these shall fail. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No, one of these shall fail. No, one, no one of these. Yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Yeah. No, one of these shall fail. Yeah, yeah. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. And he has, has cast the lot for them. And his hand hath div divided it unto them by line. They shall possess it for an F forever. From generation to generation. From generation to generation, all right? Generation to generation. Shall, okay. shall they dwell therein? Yeah, that's, that's, that's our country. We're going to get our country back, man. You know, it's going to be beautiful again. Now it's a desert. Why? Because you're sinning against the land. The, 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 the land is not going to give you its, its increase, as it says in the scriptures, man. You know? You're not keeping the land Sabbaths. You, you're having a, 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 a sodomy which is, uh, you know, allowed in that land, which is, uh, certain places are holy over there, man. And, uh, how do you say that? Um, the Mosai, that there's also, there's also certain things that happen that we don't see, you know, when there's sinful acts being committed in a certain place, you know? We don't see that, but the Heavenly Father has created the earth like that. That's why we have laws on those things, you know? So, uh... Yeah, so, uh, Numbers, uh, 35 and 33. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, this is Numbers 35 and uh, 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it devoured the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Come, by of the blood of him that shed it. So the one that killed, raped, robbed, murdered, destroyed all, all across the planet Earth, you know, uh, his blood has to be shed upon the planet Earth, so it, 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 it becomes uh, cancelled, you know, it cancels out the, the, the wickedness, but it has to be his blood though, you understand? And uh, anyone that want to join him is going to be joined as well, you understand? Because that's, what's, that, that's how it is, man. You're, you're uh, you, you know, even, even a lot of the children are going to get destroyed. You know, if they, they weren't uh, picked by the Most High to make it, the Most High can, uh, can do that, man, you know. But there, there's also a lot of children that, that are going to make it, even though they, even though they, they, they uh, uh, orphans and things like that, they all in these other countries, you know. Uh, 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 in Oman, you have Jigs, you know, you have in Iran, you have a lot of children, you have Ukraine even. You have uh, orphans without, uh, they have a, a, a black father and a, you know, so-called black father, Israelite father and, uh, and a Ukrainian mother. But because of the racism, it's, it's so thick over there, the, the mothers even abandoned them and put them in orf orphanages. So all those children that, that are of our nation, Yahweh and Tazar, we're going to bring them back, man. You know, those children that are in Saudi Arabia, in Iran, you know, we're going to bring them back. You know, and they're going to have a... a, a a, a, a place where they belong, you know, because they don't belong anywhere right now upon the planet Earth, man. You know, we do know that we they belong to us, but that it's not the time yet, you know. So let's read that, man. Uh, you have uh, Deuteronomy 28. Give me Deuteronomy 28 to 64. Yeah, read that first, man. Yes, Romans chapter 15 and verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Yeah. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. 
exactly, you know. So these uh, these examples that you see in the, in the, in the scriptures, it shows you that um, there's a lot of things that you can learn from them, you know. Not to show uh, 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 show favoritism by Joseph, uh, Jacob and Joseph, uh, and the love he had for Joseph. But then again, that was the spirit to begin with, so that there was a way for Jacob to be sold into captivity, man. Be huh? Joseph, yeah, because if it wasn't for him, we weren't, we wouldn't be in a much too good, too good of a case, man. Of course, the Most High could have uh, uh, saved us in another way, but the Most High chose it that way, you know. So he, he allowed that envy of the brothers to fall upon Joseph, and through all that tribulation, that was all power, man. It was all strength, courage, and faith. More strength, more courage, and more faith that Joseph had in the Heavenly Father that he would be delivered because he was innocent. You see. Even when he uh, 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 he was, uh, uh, how do you say that, uh, accused of rape. That that happens to a lot of Jakes, man. That happened to a lot of Jakes before, man. You know? He still had faith in Yahweh Basham Yashai, man. You know? And he got delivered and he became the greatest upon the planet Earth. <laughs> you know? Only in name, only in name, Pharaoh was above him, man. You see that? And he was... Slang, he was put in some pit, man, by his own brothers, man. His own brothers put him in some pit. You know, told a wicked lie to his father, man, and said that he was devoured by some beast. And from the bottom of the pit until the, 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 the greatest man in Egypt. That's the power of Yahweh Fashem Yashai, man. So, can you continue? Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 64. 64? Yeah. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people yeah. from the one end of the earth, uh, from the one end of the earth, we? even unto the other. Yeah. And there thou shalt be thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even wood and stone. Even wood and stone, man. You see? So can you get uh, verse 48 as well? Okay. Start, no, start at... Uh, start at 36. 36. This is Deuteronomy uh, 28 and 30. 36, man. Yeah, start at 36. The Lord shall bring thee, and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, Unto a nation which neither thou nor thy father have known, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. Gone. And the Most High is delivering out us out of, out of out of that, you know, because I now I'll be talking to this guy I met at the job. He's a Suriname guy. He's a Muslim man, you know. And when I drop these scriptures on him, slowly but surely. I actually liked his reaction, man, because he, he wasn't fighting against it. He said, uh, okay, very interesting. I, I never knew that, you know. And he said, uh, we would have a lot of interesting conversations if you just sat down and talked, man. So, yeah, I just, it's, it's our duty, man, to just be messengers of, of the Heavenly Father and tell, tell our people who we are, man, you know. Give me Hosea 1 and uh, 11 now. Can you continue? What did you want to do? Uh, I hear my voice. Yeah, get it, get it. My sheep shall hear my voice. Uh, that's uh, uh, Matthew 10. John 10 and 27, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Come. Matthew. Wasn't it Matthew 15 and 24? They have also Matthew. 
Yeah, read it at 15 and 24. I, th I thought I knew that one, but it's, that's a different one. Right, read? Yeah, 15 and 24. Matthew 15 and 24, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came, then came... Exactly. That's, that's it, man. So, so, what, what is he? He's lost, man. He's lost in that Islam, right? Because Islam is not the truth. You know, it's a lie. You understand? It's a lie that a lot of people follow and believe in. That's what... Oh, This guy is lost. <laughs> yeah, this guy. Kijk, soms moet je denken van, je wil boos worden, maar hey, hey, nee, hij is ziek. Ik snap je, je kan, hij kan niet helpen. Ik wil even een keertje lustig naar me gaan kijken. Ik, ga, ik, kan niet, ik kan niet rustig meer met die man. Ik kan niet, kan niet, ik kan niet, ik kan niet, bro. Ik kijk naar me net als hoe je naar een chick kijkt die je mooi vindt en, en spang en zo. Fuck die kill, man. Ik, ik, kan die shit niet, uh, ik kan die shit niet weglaten, man. Fuck die kill, man. Oké, so, this man, the guy I met, he's, he's lost in that Islam. Islam is not the truth. It's a lie that a lot of people follow. Millions of people follow it, but that doesn't make it the truth. You understand? <coughs> Just like millions of people believe that Jesus looks like uh, Caesar Borgia. Millions of people still don't still follow that, but that doesn't mean it's right, man. It's true. You understand? Can you say something yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah. Because you're right now on the internet, you have a lot of people that are getting mad of, of because of Putin bring bring out uh, that so-called uh, Jesus, Yahweh Shai, is a dark-skinned man. And why I say so-called uh, Jesus, because if you go to Jesus, they pretend, it's basically Caesar Boucher, but the real name of uh, Jesus is Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Shai. But the uh, people are getting mad right now on the internet because they are basically saying uh, it's a lie that he is a so-called dark-skinned man. And they're going against the whole, uh, the scriptures, like the scriptures just cl clearly say it plainly that he is a dark-skinned man. But they say like it is, uh, uh, he went in the furnace and it is basically uh, glowing. It's a glow what he has on his face. But the scripture says he's burned in the uh, in, in, it's burnt in the furnace. They changed that. Man. Yeah. And they burn the Bibles also. Yeah. Remember? They you didn't them? hear about that? That trailer full of Bibles that got burnt? No, it's They dead. probably uh, found out that Yahweh Shai is a dark-skinned man. Now all of them. Since, since he's dark skinned, they don't want to believe in the Bible anymore. You know, they had a trailer full of Bibles and they burned it up. You see? And that's the, the, the reality, that's the truth. The, the true nature of Esau is coming up, you know, with these type of things. If he, he can't accept the truth, he's against the truth always. You understand? And if, if, if something that, that, that is great is not his, then he's, he's turning against it, man. You know? So, uh, so this guy, this guy, what I was saying, he's lost in that Islam, man. And that's why when you bring these scriptures, it resonates. Because I understand why he became a Muslim, you know. <clears throat> he told me, he told me, yeah, uh, uh, a lot of uh, dark-skinned um, uh, celebrities, they went to, uh, they became a Muslim because, uh, you know, because it resonates with them. And we, were, we used to be Muslims when a lot of people in Ghana and stuff, Muslim, that's what he said, you know, and uh, it's, it, it's uh, and the, the, the Bible is basically from the white man's book, you know, and, uh, and, and, and when he said that, I, I understood it, you know, why he did that, you know, he said, uh, I said, but how about the racism then, uh, how, how do you experience that, he said, then that's, that's separate from Islam, because a lot of dark-skinned people are Muslims as well, racism is, a, is another thing, it has nothing to do with the uh, with the religion, but then I, you know, I basically broke down to him that, yeah, I understand you see the brotherhood, but still, you know, these scriptures is not, that's the thing, it's not a white man's book, man, these these scriptures are the Israelites, they're all dark-skinned people, man, and he 
listened and he accepted and he kind of accepted it. So, but I, I'm still in contact with him. So, uh, it was a dope conversation. I didn't expect he, that he would uh, have uh, such an open response to it. Man. Also shows you like they say that Islam is perfect, right, in itself. But if you still have racism amongst each other and you're in a brotherhood, right, then you still is not uh, totally perfect, perfect, because still you get ir irritated. And we, to the scriptures, we know Yahweh Yaw Basham Yashai is a racist. We follow Yahweh Basham Yashai. He separated us from the, all the other nations. So, yeah, he separated the nations. So he put us above the other nations. That's what right now we are at the bottom. But this is something what uh, is coming back. So he has a favorite uh, favoritism about uh, a, a nation. But if the Islam was so perfect, then it's supposed to be all peace and uh, yeah, yeah, peace and love, basically. Yeah, because uh, you know, and Esau just came in, and that shows you that Esau is still the master, right? Esau just came in and made some flags, right? In uh, when was it? 1864, I believe. He gave the Arabs a certain flag, and he gave the Ottoman, the Turkish Muslims, a certain flag. And what did he do? Divide and conquer, man. And they, he, he, he pushed that nationalism, that they were better, and the other side was also nationalistic and feeling that they were better, and they fought against each other, man. And now, where's the Ottoman Empire now? It's gone. You see? All through the power of Esau. And Esau was given, to, to him is, is given to, 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 you know, to deceive the nation, to deceive the world, man. Not only the Israelites, the world, that's what it says, man. You see? So that's, that's the power that the Heavenly Father gave Esau for a, t for a time, you know? And this is what he does. But now all the lies, if you lie to something, you can, you can lie about something for a long time, but it will also be exposed eventually. You understand? And that's what's happening right now. So can you read that up? Let's continue. Yeah, can I read something for you? Yeah. Uh, can I say something also? Because Go. what you did basically, that is uh, actually what we're supposed to be doing, you know? Telling the people what's going on. And, yeah, and, and you need it also. Yeah, finish, finish, finish. And basically what the brother did was First Corinthians 13, man, because... Okay, read it. Because, look. Look, this uh, or actually first uh, three, first first Corinthians chapter three and first four. For while one said, "I am Paul," and another, "I am Apollos," are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos? But ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord Jehovah gave to every man. I have planted Apollos watered, but Jehovah gave the increase. So then neither is he that planted anything, neither he that watered, but Yahweh that giveth the increase. So just like what the brother did, he just tells, tells the Israelite man, hey, you are Israelite. The, 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 the Lord that they call uh, Jesus, you know, it's not a so-called white, it's not a, a so-called white man, but it's a so-called uh, uh, black man, you know. He's an Israelite, a dark-skinned, a so-called dark-skinned man. You know, and that's all you gotta do, man. Hey, that's actually how I came into this truth, man. My nephew told me, uh, uh, Jesus is a black man, you know? And I remember that, and then I was like, hey, you know, wasn't there a movement or something about Israelites being a black, black Jew and stuff like that? Then I looked it up, I was like 17 at that time. And from then on, I watched the videos, man, and then... As you said, him, as you said man, the, the, the seed is being planted in your mind. And the heavenly, uh, um, someone waters it, and the heavenly Father is the one that incre uh, that gives the increase. If whether it's gonna grow fast or not, you understand? And all, all you got to do is do this, man. Also, get your blood off off their, their, their yes. off, off your hands. You understand? That's also a part of it. But also, of course, we, we prefer for our people not to be destroyed. But if it has to be like that, then that's what it is. But you did your job, man. You know, and you need, you need to read these spirits as well. You know, don't don't push the the whole thing upon them immediately. And yeah, you know, and start rebuking. No man, <laughs> be slowly. That's why I always I also thought like, hey, it's better not to you know go too 
too in depth with with uh, cutting these Muslims, uh, uh, you know, to the soul, you know, with the sword before you pull scriptures. You understand? You can't just cut first and then no. <laughs> the scripture, the scriptures say, um, um, you need to prophesy, right? Because because there's interaction. First, there's interaction, and if that interaction doesn't go good. Then you pull the the, 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 the sword out. You understand? Yeah, you, but want to kill first, you can't kill first. You wanna, and, and, and then talk. So he's Muslim. No, man. Then we're gonna explain. <laughs> you pull the scriptures first. You see how he responds. You know, you, you give him a little bit. Because if you give too much honey, it's sweet first, but it's gonna be bitter, man. So you gotta, you know, you, you, you notice how he acts. He responds. You, you know from your experience, you, you met certain people like that before. You just give him a little bit, see what he says, and then you just slowly but surely put that, that water on a low, you know, on a low level. You don't turn it on him, hard on him, you know. Just give him a little bit, and then, you know, you are it's up to the most high, man. You know, uh, but he, he, he's gonna, if better, he's gonna be revealed the truth or not. That's why the scriptures talk about uh, uh, you got to know how to discern spirits and be apt to teach, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot just cut first and then, you know, you got to know how you how you want to teach a person. Right? You, know that, you know that your God is a demon? <laughs> wow! You know? God was a, is, is a rock, you know? You were a rock worshiper, <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> and the vagina, vagina also. Kissing. Yeah, that's a vagina, man. Everyone wants to go to the, the vagina, man. You see, you, you, you can't do that, man. You can, but it's not wise. That's that's. It's about you know bringing in fruit as well. You know, if it's possible, if you recognize that, you, you know, it, it might be. You know, it, it was like a guy that's decent. You know, decent guy, not a thug type of nigga neither. You know, decent guy. I I talked to him before. You know, normally, and and he was cool. You know. So yeah, you have the scripture. Oh uh, yeah, this is First Corinthians nine, um, verse nineteen. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews. To them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to the Most High, but under the law to Yahushai, that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. All means save some, exactly, man. You know, so you gotta know how to discern these spirits so that you deal uh, uh, wisely with men, right? Because you have the scriptures, you, you, you're supposed to know better, man, you know? You know, it's, uh, so that's also uh, something that's going into patience. What did you have, man? I did you see Kill 33 and 1. But yeah, hey, we were in Deuteronomy, huh? Which one, yeah. Yeah. And you were reading from verse 36, right? This is going back to the, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and hey, someone else has to teach me. 36. Hey, you want to teach me? Uh, the Lord shall bring thee and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation which neither thou nor thy father have known. And there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb. And a byword among all nations. Among all nations, right? So among all nations, you would be a proverb and a byword, okay? Right? About the okay. Whether the Lord shall lead thee, thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and, and shalt gather but little in. For the locusts shall consume it. Yeah, hun ging de vorige week. Oké. Okay. Read that again, Bob. Okay. 38. Let me start at 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, 
and a byword among all nations. Exactly, and that's beautiful because we experience all of that, all that bad stuff, right? Cartoons, you a nigga, and this and that, hanging, burning. It's good, man. Be good, you know? It's all good now. We dealt with it. Now, what do you think is going to happen to you? That's the thing. You know, that's what I'm thinking about because if that happened to the Israelites, what do you think is going to happen to these heathens, man? You know? It's also going to be castration, hanging, burning, and, and, and more. You understand? Because we're going to be in our, in our full potential, in our full, full power, in our full wisdom, in our full knowledge, in our full understanding, man. Can't be one of them. Um, um, and also, we, we're going to have to know, the, 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 as the brother also sa says a lot of times, we're going to know about certain chemical diseases that insects have, uh, 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 diseases that, that these, these, these animals have and create in their body. You understand? We're going to have that, man. We're going to know about the parasites. What do you think? We, hey, hell is going to come in the perfection for y'all, man. Kana, you have a, a Jeremiah 49 and 12 For thus saith Yahweh, behold, they whose judgment was not the drink of the cup mm -hmm. have a surely drunken. Mm -hmm. And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Thou shalt not but go thou, unpunished, man. But thou shalt surely drink of it. Exactly. Thou shalt surely drink of it because it's, uh, it's, it's righteousness. Alright? That, 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 that judgment is righteousness. Okay? It's righteousness of the Heavenly Father. Verse 13. Yeah. For I have sworn by myself, save Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation. Basra shall become a desolation. So everywhere where Esau is, is going to be desolate. You know, no prosperity, man. Okay? okay? A desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse. A waste and a curse, man. A curse. You see? Just like the Israelites were, these are the 28... Deuteronomy 28 is talking about the curses upon the, head, uh, uh, upon the Israelites. So Esau is going to be cursed, man. You know? Because that hedge of Cain is going to disappear, man. You see? And a curse. Yeah. And all the cities thereof shall be perpetually wasted. Wasteland, Perpetual man. wasted. You see? Come. Verse 14. I have heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among, unto the heathen, saying, Gather ye together and come against her, and rise up to the battle, for lo, I, I will make thee small among the heathen, small among the heathen. and despised among men. Despised among men, exactly. And that's what's going to happen in the kingdom. Because that, they're going to know the truth. We're going to have a kingdom of, of, of truth, man. All the lies, we're going to document things, man. You're right to some, man. We're going to have museums of, of, of all the lies and the wickedness that Esau has perpetrated upon the planet Earth. And nation by nation, we're going to talk about Japhet and his sons. <laughs> Dedan, Yaktan, all these type of guys, they're going to know what Esau did unto them. All right? And it's going to be a, a, it's going to be a, 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 a mandatory, man, to know your history and what Esau did to you. All right? Then they're gonna go to Ishmael and and, and his, 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 his other and his uh, twelve tribes as well. You understand? Then it's gonna go to to, to uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Shem. You know, it's gonna be Elam and Moab and, 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 and Ammon. They're all gonna know about what Esau did to them, man. You see? You're gonna be and that's gonna be mandatory, man. And that's where you that's where they're gonna know that hey, that hatred. You're supposed to hate Esau, man, because he did that to you, man. You understand? It's not that, that we need to lie about what you did. You did that yourself, man. You understand? And that's what the Heavenly Father is going to do. You know? They're going to be a curse, man. Just like how you have, when you want to go to America, you need to know all the presidents. You need to know the 50 states. Mm -hmm. You need to know the Civil War and all that, that. You need to know these things before you get a green card, right? Yeah. yeah. In Holland also, you got to do a certain test. So you need to learn basic Dutch, who the king is. And uh, things like that, man. You see? So, Isaiah 49 and 16, the last one. No, 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 no. Three verses. It says here, Thy terribleness had deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that holdest the highest, high, sorry, that holdest the height of the hill. Though thou shouldest make thy nest as high as the eagle, mm -hmm. I will bring thee down from thence, saith Yahweh. Also, Edom shall be a desolation. 
everyone that goeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss at all the plagues thereof. these things that they done, you know, he deserves that, and every gonna, gonna, everyone's gonna be happy as well that he's there, right there, man, because he has to be, man, he has to be, man, he can't be somewhere else, because you see what happens when, when he's in, in power, right, you know, he goes into other countries, he bombs them, he tells you that a, a, a boy can be a girl, a girl can be a boy, you understand, he tells you all these things, man, he tells you also that, 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 that your woman is allowed to take half your shit, you know, and sleep with the different men, and you have to pay for him as well. You see, that's Esau, man. You understand? No other kingdom or society has ever done that, man. You know, no one has ever done that. You know, even the Hamites were Sodomites, but they they weren't. You know, and the one that that was openly about it, that got destroyed immediately. <laughs> you know, so uh, that's what the thing is, man. Can I say something? Esau is like that that one that one feeling in the movies where when he's about to be destroyed then he all of a sudden feels pity but then when he has a slight chance to kill the yeah, kill yeah, the yeah, main yeah, character yeah, 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 yeah. I know that yeah. <laughs> I know that exactly what you mean no please oh, no. <laughs> then he turns around and walks away and then you see the devil in him again he grabs a, a knife somewhere and he runs <laughs> and then he gets shot, shot. Bam. Uh, yeah. oh. Dragon Ball and Frieza did that. Yeah, Frieza. Frieza. <laughs> he gave him a chance, then he turned his back, then yeah. he shot him. Yeah, exactly. Exactly like that, man. It was a movie about a Jake that then, um, he got shot in the back and he became a cripple. But he, but he turned his back to him. And then the guy, you know, he spared him. And then he turned his back and then the guy shot him. It was also Bruce Lee. You remember that movie from Bruce Lee? He beat that guy up, right? And then he turned his back as he was walking away. Then the guy lost. And then he did a running flying kick. Then he kicked him in the back of his spine. And then he broke his spine. And then the doctor said, you can't walk no more. And then the most I made him walk again. But that was a backstabbing, shitty ass trick. But he gave him mercy. So I got the last one here. Jeremiah 49 and 18. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith Yahweh. No man shall abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Can you read it again? So it says, Jeremiah 49 and, uh, what's up? No, what's up? Jeremiah 49, 18. As in the overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the neighbor cities thereof, saith yeah. Yahweh. Yeah. No man shall buy, abide there, neither shall a son of man dwell in it. Exactly. So, and, and, and it's true, man, because when you go there now, it's a wasteland, man. It's salt pits everywhere, man. There's nothing can grow there, man. You don't see plants there. It's just completely empty and gray. It's like a desert, man. You know? I got another one. And it's not, it's not beautiful neither to see, actually. A desert is kind of beautiful to see with the, the sand dunes and things like that. You know, but uh, over there is uh, completely. Uh, I got something for you. Come. It says here Isaiah chapter 14, verse uh, 5. The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with, continu with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger, is persecuted and none hinder it. Just like you just said, nobody's gonna stop us from hurting them. Verse 7, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into singing. Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no feller is come up against us. No feller, man. No one uh, is chopping down those trees, which means they symbolize uh, 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 nations. You see? No feller is coming against them, man. Huh? You see? But that's gonna, that's gonna, how do you say that? That's because uh, the wicked is put down, you know. Then they're gonna be free. Now you can't. You, you don't have that in the, in America that much, man. Like a child, I was just gonna point at the child and say she's walking along. That's very dangerous in America. Yeah, man. But you just read that scripture that the, our children are gonna be playing with tigers and wolves. 
They're gonna walk around just like that. This is Sorak 12 and uh, 16. An en enemy sweet, uh, speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagined that how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If advers uh, adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he repent, though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he un undermine thee. He will shake his head and clap his feet, uh, clap his hands, and whisper much, and charge his countenance, uh, change his countenance. countenance yeah. Yeah. But basically, what uh, what the enemy does, he's, 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 he's talking sweetly with his lips, like uh, uh, I'm sorry for everything what I did. But war is in his heart already. He wanted to kill you already, man. But he is he's convincing you that you need to trust him. And that's what you're seeing with these Edomites always, what they have when they have the, the, the suit and tight. Then they come and you'll be like some kind of press, like, hey, there's somebody important. But if they take off the suit, you'll be looking like, is this, is this the same guy? And this is what our enemies, and the, the scriptures clearly say, don't trust your enemies also in, in 10, in Surah 12 and uh, 10. Never trust our enemies, man. If they, if they say something, you double, double check everything what they say, man. Go do your own research and then you come back and uh, talk about it, man. But never trust them. Yeah, man. You can continue in Deuteronomy, huh? Let's finish that and then, then continue. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. And thou, sh and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, yes. where the Lord shall lead thee. Exactly. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather but little in. For yeah, the lo it, uh, that, that came out, huh? okay. For the locusts shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes for the worms. Shall eat them. Mm -hmm. Shall eat them. Yeah. Thou shall have <clears throat> olive trees. So everything is gonna be against us, it, and it was, you know. Jake, like, like where, where, where are the food? Where is it now? It's gone, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. That place over there. Yeah, you thought I thought Jake was it was was escaping the curses, but this is is done. Do you know what happened? No, man. You know what? Happened. They, they were shooting a lot there, but that wasn't the reason. But also with the C-19, a lot of business went out of uh, bankrupt because they were shooting there a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, atelier, the atelier place, you know when you enter in, then you have the atelier bar on the Dominican, right? Dominican. Oh, Dominican. But yeah, the atelier's there yeah. all the time. They, yeah. they were shooting that shit up. Yeah? What was the What happened, man? Some, some. Okay, some, some fight. Each other, so yeah, then. but a lot of people stopped coming there as well. I don't know for what reason, but they couldn't get that money in that they used to. Yeah, yeah. getting it. So, yeah. used to go, they used to go there a lot, man. The brothers, come uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 40. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all the coast, up to all thy coast, yeah. but thou shalt not. Anoint thyself with the oil, for, thy, for thine olive shall cast his fruit. Thou shalt begot sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. They shall all, go into captivity. Yeah. all thy trees and fruit of thy land shall be shall the locusts consume. The strangers that is within thee shall get up above thee very high. Yeah. And thou shalt come down very low. Very low, yeah. And that happened to us, right? He shall lend to thee. Yeah. And thou shalt, shalt not lend to him. Exactly. So we, we, we didn't get the loans. Uh, no one wanted us to... to my, my uncle, I, I, was, I, was, I went to the islands uh, a couple of months ago. And my uncle, man, uh, I was talking to him about um, the time that he was in Holland. He said, yeah, I, I, I did make a lot of money when I was working, but no one really wanted to hire us. And he said, uh, we used to work through a, a couple bus. That's the, the thing that, when we, that, that was before the agencies came. 
you know, that help you with, with finding a job, right? Work. He always used to work through someone like that. And when he was working, he did make a lot of money, but no one would take him permanent, you understand? So that, that was the thing. He always had to go from a place to place, work in Germany for weeks, and then come back to Holland. He always had these old cars, you know, but they were good. <laughs> You know, so he was always across the, the, and he said he was always looking for a job here and looking for a job there, and you know, he was, uh, you know, he was trying to make his money, and uh, you know, so uh, he, uh, it, it wasn't like uh, like now, you know. <clears throat> he shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Thou shalt be the tail and be happy to be anything that the Heavenly Father wants us to be because <laughs> we know exactly what the Most High is going to make you too. You understand? So that's no problem. As David said, we'd rather fall into the hands of the Heavenly Father <laughs> than in the hand of the heathens, man. You see? Because mercy is coming as well. So read. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee yeah. till thou be destroyed. Can you give me uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7? Because thou hearkest and not when he's done. Because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Because thou servest not the Lord thy power with, joy, with joyfulness and with gladness of heart yeah. for the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things, yeah. Really? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore which, shalt thou serve thine enemies, yeah. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the Lord shall send against thee, yeah. In hunger yeah. and in thirst in and hunger, in nakedness. Thirst and, nakedness yeah. and in want of all things. And in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee. You know, so he would uh, dis, uh, put a yoke of iron across our, our neck. Man. And that happened in, in, during the captivity, right? Three. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flee flight, yeah. flight. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of the old. And the eagle fly, this is, is talking about, you know, uh, the Edomites. The ones that, uh, you know, always choose to have the eagle as their symbol. You know, the Greeks, the Romans, you know, and also America. So, that's talking about America. Right? Nor show favor to the young, and he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy land, until thou be destroyed which also shall not leave thee, either corn, wine, or oil, or the increase of thy, of thy kind, of or thy, flocks. Of thy kin, I believe. Right? Kind. Kind, kind yeah, yeah, kind. Of thy kind, or flocks, yeah. of thy sheep, yeah. until he have destroyed thee. Until he have destroyed thee, yeah. And he shall besiege thee. And, and we were destroyed, because we didn't even know who we were, man. You know? We? And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates, yeah. uh, until thy uh, until thy high and f uh, fenced walls come down. Yeah, because Where, we had no defense against Esau. Really. Wherein thou trusted throughout all thy land. Yeah. And he, and he shall besiege thee in all thy gates. Besiege thee. Yeah. Throughout all thy land. Yeah. Which the Lord thy power had given thee. The Lord thy power had given. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the okay. flesh of thy sons. Exactly, cannibalism, 70 AD, you know. And of thy daughters, yeah. which the Lord thy power had given thee in, in, the, in the sight. In the siege, right? In the siege, like, yeah. Yeah, in the siege. In the siege, yeah, that's the siege of Jerusalem, man. you know, 70 AD. Right? And in the straightness. 65, 65 BC it started, yeah. I believe. So, yeah, really? And in the straightness wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee, 
so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. They shall be evil towards his brother, you know. That's that's where all these gangster movies came from, man. Uh, when you see when you see these movies like uh, uh, Strapped, that destroyed, hey, that destroyed a lot of people, man. That movie Strapped, Strapped. What else? You know the the, 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 the '90s, uh, New Jack City, uh, Menace to Society, Boys Dead Presidents, the huh? Boys in the Hood. Yeah, Boys in the Hood, man. Hey. That painted the whole picture of how 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 wicked Jake was, man. It was like that, but not to the extent that they said mm. they made it to be, man. Justin White actually said it wasn't like that. Exactly. We we, we didn't talk to each other like, hey, so what's up, my nigga? Now I'm saying finna do this nigga shit. Da, da, da. We yeah, didn't yeah. talk like that, them bitches. Yeah, they yeah. put it in the movie, yeah. and then look at us here. Even yeah. our people here talk like that now. Yeah. But it's not like that here. They did it. They did it. I got a precept for you. Okay. Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of Yahweh the power are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save Yahweh. Because you just read that he's going to destroy us, right? Yeah, because he shall not <coughs> utterly destroy the... What did you just read? Amos? Amos 9 and 10. Oh yeah, 9 and 10. Yeah, he shall not utterly destroy all of us, man. You see, because uh, there's always a remnant that's trying to do right by the Heavenly Father. And that's that's not the majority, man. It's a, it's a minority, okay? They have talking about the elect, okay? So, I got another scripture for you. Okay. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28, 62. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude. Because thou wouldest not obey the voice of Yahweh, thy power. Okay. And not gonna obey the Heavenly Father, man. You see? That's why he made us, uh, he allowed Bill Gates' depopulation plans. This was not only Bill Gates, though, because it's not Bill Gates' plan. It's uh, someone else that you don't, you're not allowed to see his face. That's got, his plan. Got another precept. Deuteronomy 4, 27 And Yahweh shall scatter you among the nations and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen whither the Lord shall lead you. Exactly. And that's because of captivity that that happened. So can you read? For, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 45 So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother, right? So uh, those those movies, you know, where you see that they trying to uh, kill each other and stuff like that, especially in Chicago and those places nowadays, that's, uh, that's horrible, man. You know? So read. And toward the... Mexicans, uh, huh? Sicario. Uh, yeah, yeah, the MS, MS-13, 18th Street, you know, uh, but that president, he stopped it, man. Who? He did the right thing. Oh, yeah. The guy from the South. Yeah, yeah, I remember, I remember. Yeah, man. So and he, Esau is angry about that. He yeah. says he's unrighteously locking them up. Yeah, yeah. What? So the like guy... you not, never do that, what? man. What are you talking about, man? He's locking them up without trial, without lawyer. Yeah. Without the uh, jury, yeah. he says, "Yeah, if you have tattoos, I'll lock you up so until you I can." How you justify Edward Snowden then? Huh. Why, why, what, what did he do? Did he do a criminal act? No, he just talked about your garbage, man, your wickedness. You know. So yeah. And toward the uh, toward the Julian wife. Julian Assange also. Towards the wife, when you have thy bosom. Mm -hmm. Toward the wife of his bosom. And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave, exactly. so that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of the children whom he shall eat, because he had nothing left <coughs> him in in the uh, siege. In yeah. the siege, yeah? yeah. Nothing left him in the siege, and in the straightness where, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in all thy gates. 
the tender and delicate woman among you, which which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom, and toward her son, and toward her daughter, and toward her young one that cometh out from between her feet, yeah. and toward her children, which she shall bear. She, she shall bear, yeah, exactly. For she shall eat them for want of all things, secretly in a, in a uh, sight, in a siege. In a siege, yeah. <clears throat> and strangers wherewith. Oh, yes, like. And straightness where, wherewith thine enemies shall distress thee in thy gates, if thou wilt not observe to do all the words of, of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear the gloriness and fear, fearful name, the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power, yeah, exactly. So all these commandments, uh, we are supposed to keep them, right? Really? <coughs> then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continents, and sore sickness, sicknesses, and of long continents. Moreover, he will bring upon thee all the distress of Egypt, which thou wast afraid of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. Exactly. So the plagues that you see in, uh, that happened in Egypt, uh, you know, and other plagues that are even, aren't even written, because, you know, the scriptures don't necessarily cover every everything that happened but the majority of the things that happened that was really uh, uh, you know serious that's what's written you know Ebola and AIDS were not written yeah, exactly man so uh, these type of uh, diseases that Esau can make he can uh, easily put, put up on you Brother okay. Prisa Isaiah 51 17 awake Awake, stand up, O Israel, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of Yahweh the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling, and wrung them out. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she had brought forth. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she had brought forth. We have no guides. Of all the sons that came out of Israel, we have no one to guide us. Malcolm dead, uh, Martin dead, but they guide us into other religions anyway. Anyway, 19. These two things shall come unto, unto thee, who shall be sorry for thee. Desolation and destruction and the famine and the sword. By whom shall I comfort thee? Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets, as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord, the rebuke of thy power, Yahweh. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and, th and drunken, but not with wine. Thus saith Yahweh the power, Yahweh, and thy power, that pleaded the cause of his people, behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, Bow down, that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them. They want to be a part of Esau so much that it, it don't matter what position, you know. It could be a bottom feeder, it's not a problem, you know. And that's what all these uh, celebrities do, you know. They're getting way less of, uh, of the money that they are supposed to, to get. And they ain't even that rich, I believe, man, as it, it, it seems, you know. But I believe, I believe they, they, they need, they, they're only renting and they're not really buying property like that, man. 
I don't know why, but that's that, that's that's for real, man. They always be rented. They never buy property to be self-sufficient. If if you have so so much money, right? Would wouldn't you get everything that you like eating? I would. I, if you if if you if you if you know if you have so much money, right? Wouldn't you get a plot of land to to be able to produce by yourself everything that you are eating? Cow meat, lamb meat, uh, 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 collard greens, and all these type of things. Honey, you know. I would make my own clothes also by, by of the animals that I have over there. Nothing else, man. You know. You buy. You can pay a tailor to to, to, to do all those things for you, man. Be a little bit original, but they don't even do that, man. And that's where we're gonna get back in the kingdom. Yeah. A lot of the rest of hmm? a lot of these rappers, you know, and these artists that are in Hollywood and stuff like that, celebrities, they always get a, a diamond chain, you know, a hundred hundred thousand dollar chain and stuff like that. But most of them are not even real, man. People they're coming out there saying that man that these rappers they just buy fake chains, it maybe cost like a hundred euros or something, and then they flex and stunt with it. Like they have a, a lot of money, but meanwhile it's not it's not the case. Fifty it's Cent very, did that. It's very normal that they do it nowadays, man. Fifty Cent did that, and then he gave Young Buck, cause Young Buck went to a ghetto ass neighborhood, dangerous neighborhood, and then they robbed him. So so his friend put it on, and then they robbed him. But then basically, Fifty was laughing because he gave them a duplicate of because he had the real thing at, in his place. He's like. He said in the interview, I would not give this much money to them. Yeah. You know, but it was a whole sensation about it. They snatched the chain and stuff like that, you know? It's funny. But the rest of 51. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. That's it. Deuteronomy 28 and 61. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in, in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou wouldest not obey the voice of the Lord thy power. And it shall come to pass <coughs> that as the Lord rejoices over you to do you good and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to destroy you and to bring you to none. And ye shall be plucked from off the land, where thou goest to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people, from the one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other powers, gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. Even words and stone. Come, that's it on that line. So can you get the uh, uh, Deuteronomy 30? Sure. It's Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord Yahweh, thy God, will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You see? Can I break it down? Break it down. Deuteronomy 30. This Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 7, that the Lord Yahweh, thy God, will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Okay. So these uh, these uh, these curses that were upon us, the Heavenly Father is going to put it upon our enemies as well. You know, see, stand, and He's going to do it double fold because it says it right there in the scriptures as well. You know, so the Most High is going to destroy our enemies. You know, so now, come. Got the precept when he's done. Yeah, yeah. So now, it's only a matter of time. We're just waiting for our enemies to be destroyed, you know? Anyone that's want to save him, they're going to get destroyed with him. Come. Isaiah 51 again. Verse 22. Thus save Yahweh, the power, Yahweh, and thy power, that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink it again, but I will put it in the, into the hand of them that afflict thee, exactly. which have sinned. You know? 
So the ones that afflicted us were the, especially in Deuteronomy, um, 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 in Psalms 83, it talks about our enemies, but, you know, Moab and Ammon and Ishmael, you know, and the Hagarines and Amalek, you know, those are going to get it the hardest. You know, Which have said in, with that, what, what's up? Um, where is it again? Which have said to thy soul, bow down that we may go over. And thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. I got another one. I got another precept. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away captive. No, sorry. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. All, all Esau's uh, sins are going to be discovered through these whistleblowers as well, you know. Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, you know, that was talking and showing how helicopters in, the, in Iraq was, was just killing people for no reason. And in Israel, you see that happening as well. they just killing people for no reason, man. And they get away with it. Why? Because of the hedge of, hedge of king, man. You know? And the Ish, those Ishmaelites have to be judged as well for all the atrocities that they've done. What? upon the, the children of Israel as well, upon the Negroes and the Native Americans, you know. So that's what it is, but, you know, don't, don't feel sorry for them. You know, it is, it's, it's not our fight to begin with. It's, it's, they're our enemies, they're not our friends, you know. So, uh, yeah, Khan, because he was uh, speaking earlier about, you know, um, different type of relations and our, our people, believing in, for example, Allah, or being Muslims, or whatever, you know, so there's a lot of religions out there, you know, people may be seeking some type of power, some type of, of worshipping a, a higher power, but a lot of them are not worshipping the right power, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, okay, so that's what I want to go into, so if you can read Romans chapter 11 and 7. Romans chapter 11 and verse 7. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see, so only a certain amount of Israelites have obtained what they were seeking for, you know, the, the, true, the true power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and the rest are blinded basically, following after other gods, doing all types of crazy things, you know. So from there, can you go to the list of some? Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 1. Surely vain are all men by nature who are ignorant of the Most High and could not out of, out of the good things that are seen know Him that is. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work master. Yes, so they don't acknowledge Yahweh Bashim Yashai. They rather give atheists, people that believe in a Big Bang theory, they rather give uh, reference to, to an explosion that causes life than to a higher power, you know? So, uh, when you look very close around you, you see all, all different types of creations. You can't imagine, like, there has, has to be some type of higher higher being or higher mind to have put all of this here, man. Okay, there's no coincidence that all of this just existed. Please, you know? It's, uh...